How do you define health? I found that most people associate this word with their own physical wellness, often completely forgetting about the impact that their mental state has in their lives. So, let's take this time to talk about mental health. Everybody seems to have a pretty solid opinion on what mental health is all about. But when those opinions are based on misconceptions, the outcome only turns out to worsen the sickening stigma that surrounds those people affected by a mental illness. Mental health problems are quite common all around the world. In fact, just in the US, at least one in five adults are dealing with a mental health condition. That's over 40 million Americans, even more than the populations of New York and Florida combined. With this being said, it is likely that if you're not affected by a conflict of this sort, then one of your friends or family members are. Of course, these are only estimates, but mental illness is just as real as diabetes or any heart disease, and unfortunately there is no immunity to it. According to the World Health Organization, not everybody develops a mental illness during their lives, but anyone certainly could. So if this is true, why aren't we talking about it more often? It's important to know that mental illness conditions constitute of anxiety, depression, alcohol dependence, eating disorders, schizophrenia, and many, many more. All of these affect individuals in a wide variety of natures, dimensions, and depths. There are many reasons why somebody dealing with a mental health condition could have a hard time reaching for help, but we can attribute much of the hassle to the constant battle they face against their own society's stigma. Lately, I've noticed that we do an awful job at actually exposing this issue in our media. We often tend to avoid, ignore, or forget it. And whenever mental health actually sees the light in our mass media, it is often very much misrepresented, exaggerated, or even made fun of. This is really sad. However, I believe that Orange is the New Black is a show that, unlike many others, takes the time to develop characters that are constantly dealing with a mental health condition. Characters like Suzanne or Lolly are portrayed as extremely complex individuals. This is very important because learning about their lives and personalities can help us understand and empathize with people who we might not have much in common with. Ultimately, the goal is to increase the awareness of the complexity of each individual's mental health and hopefully help reverse the shame that surrounds it. It is our job to encourage the continuous search for new and better treatments in more positive and supportive ways because somebody who constantly deals with internal battles should feel confident to seek for help just as if they had broken an arm. We gotta learn how to treat our brain and heart with the same care as the organs that both of them are. As YouTuber Jack Harry said, mental disabilities are an illness and not a weakness. They are an issue and not an identity, so there is nothing to be ashamed of. It's completely okay to have a mental illness, but it's certainly not okay to keep quiet about it. There's absolutely no need to suffer in silence, and keep in mind that the more we properly talk about mental health, the more we can achieve together.